determine who actually launched these kinds of chemical weapons. But what you're saying is for political reasons, Ban Ki-moon and the United Nations have told these weapons inspectors, we don't want you to check that, just tell us if they were used. Well, it's not, that sounds so it's, absurd. It, it's not, it, it is, but it's not quite that simple because of the, the legal status that they're, they're operating under. When the Iraqis' uh, inspections were being conducted, it was under the uh, Security Council resolution, which mandated that they look for exactly those questions. The, the technical legal authorization for them is somewhat different in this case. And, and when the Secretary says after five days, that whole area can be contaminated, you can't determine anything, it's too late now, but the U.S. knows for sure that the regime did it. you buy that? Uh, no. The, the weapons inspector can find out a lot. You know, they were going there originally even to investigate uh, attacks which took place months ago. They can find out a lot of very interesting information. I agree that the United States has other sources. I mean, presumably, the National Security Agency can listen to people besides the United States. So they may have data which the weapons inspectors may not have. And they may be quite convincing uh, in the United States. But what the weapons inspectors provide is credibility across the board. When they